A Dubai-based British businessman has filed a petition before the Judicial Service Commission seeking the removal from office of Chief Registrar of the Judiciary Anne Amadi Demetrius Bradshaw, the director of Britain Gold Trading Company, accused Amadi of abuse of office, obtaining money by false pretense, among other allegations, in the 130 million shilling gold scandal. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, the embattled Amadi will have to wait longer before knowing the fate of her frozen bank accounts. A filed petition before the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, by a Dubai-based British businessman, Demetrius Bradshaw, the director of Bratton Gold Trading through Kenyan lawyers, says Amadi should immediately be shown the door for knowingly perpetrating conflict of interest as a public servant. Bradshaw claims that Amadi owns the law firm he accuses of swindling him more than 130 million Kenya shillings. The petition reads in part that there is no evidence that Honorable Anne Atieno Amadi ever seized control and or handed over the farm to any other advocates indicated in the website. The most recent certificate from the Registrar of Companies, dated 30th of May 2023, still indicates that Anne Atieno Amadi is a registered proprietor of the law firm. The British gold dealer father claims that Amadi called his advocates sometimes last year and thereafter met them in the company of her advocates in a bid to reach a settlement on the investigations which were being conducted by police. The petition stating that the glaring question from Honorable Anne Atieno Amadi's action is how did she know of the criminal investigations being carried out? On what capacity did she attend the meeting and propose solution if indeed she was not in control of Amadi and Associates? Bradshaw in his petition claims that Amadi and six others illegally obtained and were paid 82.3 million Kenya shillings by Bratton Gold Trading Limited. The Dubai-based gold trading company explains it was interested in buying gold from Kenya. According to the petition, one Daniel Kangara, who at the time was alleged to be an officer in an entity called Universal Global Logistics Limited, was to organize the logistics of a 1,500 kilograms of gold consignment from Kenya to Dubai. However, despite the money being paid totaling to 130 million, no gold was ever delivered. The petition says that the money received into Amadi's law firm from Bratton was withdrawn in cash by agents appointed by Amadi, and there was no proof that it all went to a third party, that the company that was meant to sell the gold Universal Global Logistics Limited did not even exist. The petitioner also avers that in April 2022, Amadi called Bratton Gold Trading Limited at an Nairobi hotel in a bid to reach settlement on the criminal investigation that was underway. The petitioner is willing to provide phone records on this meeting. The petitioner also claims that Amadi and Associate obtained a fake court order against the export of gold to justify holding the millions sent by Bratton Gold Trading Company and that the phone number used to pay for the petition to obtain those court orders was the one used as a contact number for Amadi and Associates. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.